What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, okay? As you can see, yet again, we're in a different position. Um, now, this is the same place that we was at last time. Um, for those 12 zodiac sign readings, real quick, I'm just gonna let y'all know. I don't really like doing a zodiac sign type of readings, you know what I'm saying? I just like to pick a card. I just tried it out to see, you know, how y'all respond to it. And it seemed like y'all don't like it either. You know, just like me. I liked the way I was doing it at first. Um, but yeah, so definitely stick it to the pick a card. That's what I love doing. Um, also, it was something else that I wanted to say. It was something else that a brother wanted to say. Oh yeah, check out my other channel, right? Um, I want y'all to check out my other channel that I have as well. I've had this channel for ever since high school, um, but I'm gonna get ready to get back on that channel, okay? So, you know, and start uploading and stuff to there too. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below, all right, um, to that channel and uh, all those sorts of things. Well, actually, no, <laughs> no, not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in a, in a in a different time. I'm gonna do it in a different time. But as you all can tell, this reading we're talking about um basically, you know, why do people crave you? What 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 is it about you that have people slobbing? Okay, what 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 about you have people craving you? Okay, why do you have these people craving um you? Okay, so let's go ahead and get um. Let's go ahead and get some cards here from this deck and see why do you all have people craving y'all? Like, what's up? I mean, um, yeah, collective reading, right? Collective? That's what we're doing right now? No, we're, we're not going to get a collective reading right now. Uh, well, at least for this one. We're not going to do a collective reading. Um, I'm stepping back from doing the collective readings as well. Well, the collective readings is only going to be for specific videos, okay? Um... But for time's sake, you know what I'm saying? And for editing's sake, because I'm going to start editing my videos. <laughs> y'all going to see. Y'all y'all going to see in this video. Um, but yeah, y'all probably already seen. I probably already didn't edit some shit. Anyways, uh, yeah. We're going to get to the groups, okay? So group one has this ne uh, necklace. Wow, this bracelet here. Okay. Group one has this bracelet. Okay, group two has this bracelet, okay? I got the slash on because it's kind of gloomy today. Not that much sunlight. And how or group three has this bracelet, okay? You all can choose any, any one or, you know, two or even all. Shit, I've been hearing that all of y'all, you know, a few people have been choosing all pals. Um, and I'd love to hear that real quick. Also, before we get into it, I just want to give a lot of thanks to you all um, for sharing, lo showing love to me in the comments. I love reading you all's comments and replying. Y'all make my day. I love to hear how much I've helped you all, you know, and how much I make you all smile and laugh. That's the whole reason why I do this. I just want to uplift, uplift everyone, raise your vibrations and give y'all the message, okay? Um, let y'all know what it is. What's up? Cause we got that and, and got that. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so uh time says in the description box below, okay? Yeah. And until until then, do see so I'm gonna see y'all at y'all pals, okay? <laughs> What's up, my group ones? If you all chose this bracelet, then this is for you. This reading is you all. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Get in here. Get in here, sis. Get in here, bro. Let's see what we got to say. Now, I love how that just fell out. The full card. Already. I didn't even ask Spirit the fucking question yet. The full card then came out. Why do people crave you? Okay. Why do people crave you? What do people crave about you? We have this full card energy. This is going to be the overall energy, okay? Yeah. Let's get another card for the underlying energy, okay? Let's get a card for the underlying energy. Um, Spirit. Oh, yeah. There it is right there. Oh, the Emperor 
very delicious, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. And let's go ahead and get well. Yo, you crazy. Well, let's go ahead and get um one more card for the the uh energy that drives these people. Hold on. Alright, it was the uh, ambulance passing by being an asshole trying to fuck up my video. Um and then I almost forgot I didn't have no music playing. Well, at least not on my PS4. Um, but I, you know, forgot that I am going to be editing the video. So, yeah, I can edit some music in there. The energy that's driving these people to crave you <laughs> is the high priestess. Interesting. Well, in this case, the high priest, because Armin is a boy. I used to think Armin was a girl, too. Especially in, like, season one, in the first, in the first episode, basically. Um, but yeah, okay, before we, uh, start tapping into any motherfucking thing else, let's go ahead and get, um, all the cards out. No, I want this deck next. Let's see. Um, two cards from this deck, spirit. What? What the hell makes how, uh, makes my group ones, um, I was about to say irresistible. Why are people craving my group ones? We got... The four of wands, yeah, okay. Definitely. Um, let's see, what else? Let's get another card. Yeah, it's this one. And we have the four of cups. So you got two different fours right here. And then the emperor, the emperor rules all the fours in tarot. Very interesting. This is uh, bringing up an interesting uh, storyline here already. Can you, y'all can't see that. I gotta scoot this down, son, god damn. Y'all can't even see this shit. Right? Um, yeah, definitely so far what I'm getting is that what makes people crave you, right, is um, your spirit, your energy. Um, it's like you have this innocence about you that a lot of people love. But, you know, it's like innocence, you know what I'm saying, innocence in the sexual way. Let's go ahead and get out of the way. I mean, because why would somebody be craving you for... I mean, they could be craving you for, like, other things that's non-sexual, but... I'm pretty sure we all already know. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all already knew what was going on when y'all heard the title, when y'all seen the title. Come on now. And the emojis behind the title. Let's let's get into it. Okay, let's really talk about it. Um, yeah, but uh definitely you all have an innocence about you, as you can see here. Oh Jesus, I keep forgetting that the camera is on this side. As you can see here, um Mika said the girl, right? And then the other two boys, right? You see how they're looking at her and she's like, you know, just mind her business. She, hold on. Okay, yeah, I had to, like I said, I have noisy neighbors. Anyways, like it was, like like we said here, like I was saying, I'm trying to remember what I was saying. But basically, yeah, innocence. Y'all just be minding your own business, living your own life. And a lot of people uh, be noticing that. And um, it's like, People may, I'm also getting that people may say like certain jokes, you know what I'm saying? Like sexual jokes. Um, and they think that you don't get what they're saying, but you know exactly what they're talking about. Right. And they feel like, um, you're just innocent in that way, like sexually. Right. A lot of people probably feel like you're just innocent in that way. Um, yeah, that's what I'm kind of getting. A lot of people probably, uh, feel like y'all haven't been, um, in no type of, like, sexual experience or in no real, like, you know, real, like, deep sexual, like, experience or whatnot, they, um, which is kind of what's making people crazy because they want to, some of y'all may be virgins still, interesting, some of y'all may still be virgins, okay, and a lot of people is, um, a lot of people is very, very much attracted to that because, uh, they all feel like you'll they they um feel like they can be your first one and two they feel like they um could be someone that can teach you something or whatever but little do these people know the underlying energy <laughs> the, emperor, <laughs> the emperor look at all these bodies now I'm not trying to say that y'all out here doing that like that but no, for real though, y'all, y'all know exactly what y'all doing. Y'all know everything there is to know 
about sex. If you don't, then this is not you all's reading. This is not your bracelet. You probably need to go pick a different one. But a lot of people is craving you um, because they feel like you're innocent when it comes down to everything sexual. Well, not everything sexual, but when it comes down to sex, they feel like you have to, like this innocence type of energy to you. A little do they know, though, is that you, the emperor is all about control, right? <laughs> the emperor is about power. The emperor is about uh, boundaries, right? The emperor is about um, rulership, okay? Um, king of kings. What they don't know is that your ass is a beast in the motherfucking sheets, okay? Y'all ass is a beast in the motherfucking sheet. Why is y'all making me... Why, why are y'all energy making me smile right now? I'm cheesing hard as hell. At the, um, the driving energy, definitely... Um, the, the energy that's driving these people is this high priestess. They feel like you're innocent. They feel like you haven't been touched yet. Um, they feel like you are kind of like forbidden fruit in a way. You know what I'm saying? Um, and a lot of people sit there and they kind of daydream or fantasize about it too. Um, they think about the people that they've been with. Yeah, okay, they're bored. But they, when it comes down to you, okay, you see how this, how this um, cup is glowing? Okay, shining is magical. When it comes to you, when people start imagining um, being with you, it, it, it gives them it gives them a, a crave, right? It brings this crave out in them. And then you got the four of wands here. Definitely, a lot of people want to get into some things with you, okay? A lot of people want to get into some things with you. Like, for real, you can't even, I'm not going to play with y'all, okay? What makes um, people crave y'all, okay? The reason why people is craving y'all is because y'all are kind of antisocial, but y'all must be fine as hell. Y'all must have like some very intense, mysterious type of energy or something. Um, and it seems like y'all may have like this very intense sexual energy. However, it's still this very strong innocence that's balancing it out. Um, and a lot of people, they they have nothing. They can't do um, nothing but imagine like how are you in bed or well, you know what i'm saying how is it how how is it to be in a relationship with this person you know what i'm saying look at how these people is looking these two boys looking at her she mind her own business they look at how big look at how look how big armin's fucking eyeballs is he's like oh yeah she's that's that's crazy look at how hard he's gripping his damn legs he's like i truly wish truly motherfucking wish that I can just have a chance. Um, and a lot of people may be uh, afraid to also um, approach you as well because of that intense energy that we was talking about, right? Because of that intense energy. We have the Seven of Swords that came out, right? Um, another thing that uh, makes people crave uh, you, okay, is the fact that you, you know what I'm saying? Like we said earlier, y'all... Y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't really hang out with um, society like that. Y'all kind of a loner, you know what I'm saying? Y'all kind of people that step, you know, stay in y'all own lane. Y'all do y'all own thing, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't worried about everybody for real. Um, and when y'all make a decision, y'all stand on that shit, right? Um, fuck what everybody else is saying, okay? You pick up they saw it's like, yeah, we finna throw this shit. Uh, you pick up everybody else saw it's like, yeah, we finna throw this shit in the trash. Um, because what I said is what I said. Um, and I'm going to do what I said. I'm going to stand on that shit. Um, also, another thing here. These people, a lot of people um, want to come to you and express um, to you their thoughts and shit. However, you know what I'm saying? They feel like you might be guarded up or whatnot. And it's making them crave you simply because... Um, yeah, it's making them crave you simply because... Oh, no, that looks ugly. Hold on. It's making um, them crave you simply because you are seemingly being kind of unreachable, tantalizing, if you will. Okay, um, you all are kind of torturing them a little bit. It's kind of it's not it's not like y'all doing it on purpose, but it's like torture to them. They can't really they can't get to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's what craving pretty much is really all about. You wanting something, desiring, not just wanting, desiring something um, very badly that um, isn't in reach at the moment. Look, and then we got the Queen of Swords here. Definitely, um, a lot of people crave you as well because of your uh, mind. 
because of your uh, mentality or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people crave you because of your um, because of your mind. Hold on, where are you at? Yeah, you know, we're gonna get this one first. Excuse me. Yeah, a lot of people crave you because your mind as well. Um, going back to these, these are two sword cards. When you make a decision, you stand on that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then plus, another reason why people crave you all is because y'all are focused on your own life. Look, this is them. The this is this is them, right? Looking over at you. This is uh, the people fantasizing about you. This is the uh, imaginary force field or guard that they think that you have up, right? And then this is you. You're just panic. Look, you're just minding your own business. It's not that you won't, you know, give them a chance or not talk to them. You know what I'm saying? It's it's your energy though. Your energy is intense. It's deep. It's very. It, it has depth. Okay. Um, and these people can feel it, right? And it's making them crave y'all even more. Um, I like this energy. I feel my uh, solar plexus chakra um, being activated, y'all. Y'all, that, and usually when I uh, see somebody that I kind of am attracted to, my that chakra will start, um, it'll start, it'll start like churning, right? It'll start stirring up, you know what I'm saying? Um, so definitely... Y'all definitely, um, y'all have some really deep energy, okay? Um, I know I always say it, who are y'all? <laughs> the fuck? Who are you motherfuckers here? Because y'all as, mm -mm, y'all as here. Okay, let's get a card spirit from this deck. There it is. Water elements. We got flow. The water element card flow. Definitely. A lot of people. A lot of people crave you all, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we got the air element wind, right? Um, a lot of people crave you all simply because um, they like the way that your energy is. They love the way that you flow um, through your day-to-day -day life, right? They want to get into the flow with you. Oh, my God. Don't tell me that all these cards just fail. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, they want to get into the flow with you. <gasps> Right? They want to get, excuse me, they want to get into the flow with your energy. Definitely also what I'm getting here is water flow. Um, take with that what you will. <laughs> a lot of people uh, definitely, they want to reach ecstasy, okay, with you. We already know this. We already know this, right? Um, people also probably love the way that your hair flows. Look at her uh, hair as well. Whether you have dreads, whether you have afro, whether you have... Um, long flowing hair, curly hair. Um, what is it? Uh, you know the little bouncy hair or whatnot. Bob, right? I'm even getting the bob with from this dude right here. That's like a fade, but it looks like a bob. Um, a little bit. Not gonna lie to you. Yeah, definitely with that weird flow. They definitely, as you can see, these clothes and this little turban thing, whatever she wearing. A lot of people just love the way that you move, right? They love the way that your body moves, too. Your body is very fluid. It flows as well, too. That's another thing that um, have people craving you all. Um, oops, good. Uh, definitely you all's eyes because we pointed it out um, in this card right here. Uh, and it's in this card as well. The same fucking motherfucker, too. That's crazy. Uh, and then it's giving me that Bob uh, energy again. Some of you all may have a Bob as well. Um, with a bang. Right, definitely. A lot of people um feel like uh, a lot a re another reason why not uh people crave you all is because they um because of their fantasies, right? And their fantasies go very, very, very far. Like they reach to the highest heights of their imagination, as you can see that bird all the way up there in the sky, in the distance, right? They reach to the highest heights, right? Um, and they think about all types of stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you. They think about all types of stuff. They think about very, very clear minded, just very nice stuff. And then they think about some real deep, cloudy, nasty shit. <laughs> okay. Um, definitely. And then we have here the sixth house, right? So you all sixth house may be in a water sign, right? It could be in an air sign or a fire sign, or any of the signs, right? Um, but we got the sixth house, right? Sixth house represents routines, represents, um, I've heard that it also represents um, enemies, right? And all those sorts of things in the workplace, right? Uh, it also represents work in a way too, um, which makes sense. 
And then at the um, top of the deck, we got Taurus energy, right? So definitely a lot of people are craving y'all because um, one, you all may be touchy-feely people, right? Y'all may be very sensual people. So when you talk, you may touch people or, you know, like I said in another reading, y'all may allow people to touch y'all when they talk or whatnot, you know, um, in all those teams. Well, definitely, it's probably the other way around. When you talk, you touch people because a lot of people is kind of uh, afraid to approach you because of how intense your energy is. So definitely, when you kind of, when you like openly approach people and like talk to them and y'all conversation is just flowing and then like you start possibly like touching people and all that stuff um as you can see here you even see it here with the touching right um definitely people okay people people go wow like while i have a conversation if all of that is happening a lot of i can tell that people they kind of they kind of go into like autopilot and their mind is going through those simulations of those you know you know, you know, just those nasty thoughts, right? Um, so some of you all may even recognize and <laughs> see, um, y'all may even notice and see when people go into autopilot mode. I know I can, I definitely can when I'm talking to people. I can see when they, um, when they are going into autopilot and they start uh, daydreaming or imagine it, uh, using their imagination and shit. After I do, like, damn, I just felt that feeling again. Yeah, damn, that's wow. That's a superpower. Definitely, that's a superpower. Um, being able to do that. But like I was saying, some of you all definitely can be able to feel or or sense when people is going to autopilot. Um, I know I can. Like I was saying, definitely, especially after I do specific things on purpose. You know, like flirting with people or whatnot. Um, I can tell when they mind is going. You know, when when they when they go into autopilot, basically, and they mind start going into like imagination mode usually in the sexual region type of imagination right but that's all i'm really getting for you all i hope you all enjoyed this as much as i enjoy reading for you all okay love like peace power and abundance to you ashe amen and period okay what's up my group number twos if you chose this bracelet hold on now catch it there it is if you chose this bracelet then this is you all's reading okay this is uh you've made it to you all's reading now i don't know if y'all just noticed how the sky kind of grew um kind of glue up a little bit it, it's kind of a it's a very very extremely cloudy day like no type of spots in the sky at all but um i don't know how you i don't know if you noticed like the sky like glowing up a little bit when i um started you all's reading i don't know if you noticed it but i did so definitely already there's this glow about you all uh, that makes people crave y'all for real flat out there's this glow about y'all that makes people crave y'all okay I, I keep hearing that yeah you all's light is what makes people crave y'all let's let's get three cards from here okay let's see what is the overall reason or energy of why people crave you all the higher thing mm. a lot of people like y'all body structure a lot of people love the way that how stoic you are can come out and seem to be also um hold on i don't know if y'all was able to hear me but my alarm kind of just went off it's only 12 o'clock wow anyways um the higher thing right yeah, a lot of people love how you have your life in order, how your life is structured, how you are grounded, how you got things going on, right? How you are living life. Um, and it seems like uh, to them that you're living lavishly, right? And uh, a lot of people love, love, love your skin and love the way that your uh, body is built. Whether you love it or like it or not, or agree with what I'm saying or not, this is what makes people crave you, okay? It's not about what you think. It's about what people, what these other people are thinking, why they are craving you, okay? And this is what's coming through. Definitely. People also love your fearlessness. Like I said, the stoicism earlier, um, it makes you all, it makes you all seem very, uh, very put together, very, very um, grounded and very intense. Look at his fucking face. That man is fucking intense. Look at his face. 
Look at his fucking horse. That horse. Look at the horse. Like, they both intense as hell. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people crave y'all because y'all have like this very strong energy. Some of y'all may even be Capricorns, even though this higher fin is connected to um, Taurus. Some of y'all could be Capricorns, Scorpios, Leos. What else? What else am I getting? Aries. Who else am I getting? Is that it? I think that's it. Even Virgos to a certain extent, yeah. But y'all could be any, any, any one of the damn signs, but definitely. A lot of people is drawn to you because of how you hold your ground in the midst of fucking chaos. You could care less about the shit that's going on in the world, right? A lot of people crave y'all because of y'all strong demeanor, right? The energy that y'all give off is strength. The energy that y'all give off is, um, <laughs> that's deep as fuck. Um, ooh, the energy that y'all give off, um, especially in bed, is merciless. Merciless. Oh, y'all. Oh, wait, who the fuck are y'all? Um, if y'all don't agree with that, this is not y'all group because that's what I'm getting. My stomach. Wow, my stomach. I, I am really developing my damn clear sentient fucking abilities. I think my mama really did help me activate that shit. God damn. Because she, she got it strongly, y'all. That's one of her um, strongest gifts. That's another thing, too. Uh, y'all make people feel shit. Y'all make people feel shit. Y'all help. Y'all can help activate people's gifts, right? This is another reason why people crave y'all as well. Mm. Y'all are also poised. Y'all are very poised, very put together, very majestic, okay? And the way y'all walk into a room, y'all turn heads when y'all walk into a room. Uh, definitely, a lot of people feel that y'all energy is strong. That's what I'm getting is strong and intense in a way, but strong. I'm getting grounded and strong more so than intense, right? Grounded and strong and stoic. Yeah, going back to that um, in bed situation, merciless. Who the fuck are y'all? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me know. Um, God damn, I can't let that shit go. Okay, anyways, that's the overall energy. God damn. Um, let me get the rest of the cards. I was supposed to get all the cards out first. Damn. I just instantly got uh, started getting messages. Uh, let's see, what is the underlying energy here? All right? When it comes down to why people are crazy enough. Okay, there it is. Ooh, we, the chariot. Y'all about that action. Y'all not afraid to get into it. And then yet again, y'all eyes definitely make people crave y'all. Y'all vibe. Look at how put together he is. Look at that fucking thing. This right here that he ran on his neck. That makes his ass look very put together. Y'all, and then that's what I'm getting. Like, y'all are kind of like, I'm definitely getting like Virgo energy now. Y'all kind of like, in a way, perfection freaks, right? Well, perfectionist. Let me not say perfection freaks, but perfectionist. Look, come on now, where is he at? Put, um, look at his hair. You know, he got the perfect swoop, okay? Uh, his shit is parted evenly, and then he got this, you know what I'm saying? Got his glasses on. What I'm getting is that y'all seem, people can tell that y'all some sexual, sexual freaks, okay? Sexual freaks. People can tell already that y'all some sexual freaks. Um, what's balancing it out is that y'all are giving, though, this, like, geeky, or kind of nerdy type of vibe, or y'all that maybe y'all aesthetic or whatnot. Um, if not, don't 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 come from my throat now. Damn, don't come at me. Um, but y'all are giving this. Um, at least aesthetically, it gives like intelligence. It gives smart. It gives sophisticated. You know what I'm saying? It gives high maintenance. You know, um, definitely. Um, also, the underlying energy here. What a lot of people don't know is that Shella as. Y'all ass, you kill in you 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 can kill in the bed. <laughs> um, but they can feel it, they can sense that energy, but they don't know it for certain. I'm getting again that you all damn. And then we have the moon card here. Definitely uh yet again, eyes. Look at her eyes. Right? Definitely eyes. Also, something that also um may make people crave you is um 
your hair as well. Definitely your skin. We brought that up with him. Yeah, definitely your skin. Even your touch, right? Even your touch. Definitely your touch. You see? Y'all laugh. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's the, this is the energy. This card represents the energy that's driving these people um, to crave you. They are seeing y'all in their dreams. They, these people are having wet dreams about y'all. Um, these people are definitely, uh, they are definitely, they definitely have you in their subconscious mind. They can't get you off their mind. That's the problem. Um, and the reason why. The reason why they can't get you off they um off they man y'all may have uh, it's because that y'all may have had um been together right um both relationship and you know deeply intimately you know what I'm saying y'all may have been already in a relationship and they and and they feel the divinity within your energy from being with you right as you can see the little uh ring in the background or the you know. The little circle in the background, like we already know, that represents uh, deity energy, God, goddess type of energy, right? Um, definitely. Oh, wow, we got judgment here. Y'all changed some motherfuckers' lives, so definitely, these people may have been in a relationship with you, and probably never even got to um, get in bed like sexually with y'all, right? And or. They've had you, uh, or not, let me not say had you. Y'all have been together sexually um, before, and, you know, something may have happened or whatnot, or you may have just ghosted them or something. Um, but look at how these people is reaching out to this angel. This is the energy I'm getting. Deity, angelic type of energy from you, and these people is craving it. Definitely. Look at this woman right here. She's like, God, oh, Jesus. Let me have it again. Right? <laughs> uh, he, he, booty ball naked, ass cheeks clamped together. Cheeks! <laughs> cheeks, okay? Um, these people is, is desiring attention from this angel. This is what I'm getting from... Oh, I see a... Oh, my God. I see a jumping spider. Uh-uh. Yeah, he see me too. He just seen me. Please, just stay your ass over there. Now I'm starting to itch. Hold on. Oh, no. Nah, you, you must die. Hold on. I'm sorry. Let me just leave it alone. Maybe, maybe. Okay, just leave it alone. But this motherfucker is looking at me now. Mm -mm. He can't immediately jump at me because it's like on the other side of my, of these sheer curtains over here. But still, bitch. Why, why did you, anyways, have to show yourself. Anyways, uh, that could be um, one of you, uh, this this could be, um, a spider could be you all's uh, spirit animal as well, right? You all should probably look up the spirit animal of a spider. Ooh. Okay. Let me pause this. Let me pause it. Okay. So, ooh, yeah, three of swords. Definitely, you all could have been with these people. You all are like some little heartbreakers, not unintentional, right? Unintentional heartbreakers. Or these people could have broken your heart, but they see the glow up now, right? Um, didn't we say in the beginning of y'all reading that um, I mentioned it, that there's this glow about y'all. There's this light about y'all. And the sky was literally glowing earlier. And it's kind of glowing right now. Hold on, let me... Fix it. Yeah, there we go. Um, that's funny how this camera was just making shit glow. Yet again, y'all probably went through a glow up. This spider is crawling up this shit way too fucking fast. I don't think I'm gonna let you live. You just need to sit still until I get down with this, please. Fucking hell. God damn it. Uh yeah, definitely. People, people, okay. Um this 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 definitely could be an ex. Or it could be people that you uh, have been with, you know what I'm saying? Or past sneaky links, you know, there's no judgment here, okay? Uh, past sneaky links that, you know, you all have been with before. And they miss your ass, okay? They're like, yo, you got the key to my motherfucking heart, okay? That's what's going on here. They didn't, 
these mother and ugh, these motherfuckers then accidentally fell in love with you. These sneaky links then accidentally fell in love with you. Oh wow, y'all how y'all have one job? You misunderstood the assignment. How the fuck? How did the fuck did you fall in love? Damn, ignorant. These people, y'all, y'all didn't, this is what's got these people craving, y'all. They didn't fell in love with y'all ass. They can't get you out of their mind, out of their psyche, out of their subconscious, okay? The chariot is ruled by cancer, and the moon is ruled by cancer as well, right? That's cancerian energy. These people are kind of clingy as well, you know what I'm saying? They may be still texting y'all, calling y'all, all that type of shit, and y'all steady just moving on, like, fuck that shit. Fuck that motherfucker, because that motherfucker... Probably broke your heart, said some stupid shit, um, or whatnot. Where the fuck did the spider go? Oh, hell no. We're not about to do this. Uh, we gonna pause. We, wait, did I find it? Nope. We finna pause, bitch. We finna pause. Pause. Okay, never mind. I see him. But he's climbing up. Like, let me hurry up and do this reading. Let me hurry up. I don't want to kill you, but I don't want to lose sight of your ass. <sighs> Okay, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, um, definitely. They either broke your heart and you left them. I'm getting two storylines. They either broke your heart and you left, you know, left them and glued the fuck up. And now they want you back. And they're having, you know, they're reminiscing about uh, old memories and shit that they, that y'all used to have and all that stuff. And they miss y'all energy. You know what I'm saying? They, they miss y'all energy from jump, you know, when you left them. But they thought they can uh, have a cake and eat it too at the same time. Um, and you was like, nah, bitch, I'm going to show you something. Anyways, or the second time, uh, timeline, storyline that I'm getting is that these are sneaky links or a sneaky link. Uh, let me stop saying, putting, making that shit plural. I mean, it could be plural. You know, that's what's coming through is plural. You know, it could be sneaky links, past sneaky links. You know what I'm saying? That. Mm -hmm. Where is it at? See, you did fucking disappeared. Again, I should have killed that mother. Anyway, um, past sneaky links, right? Look at me. I'm steady flicking and shit because I'm trying to find this motherfucker and it's gone. Anyways, past sneaky fucking links, okay? This could be past sneaky links that accidentally fell in love with y'all, okay? Let's get a card from this deck, okay? Let's see what the hell is going on here. Why is it? Why, why are people craving you all? Why are people craving my group um, twos? Oh, yeah, there it is right there. There's a fire element, too. Wow! Phoenix! Phoenix! Definitely, there's been a glow up. There's been a glow up. Now, what I'm getting is that y'all ass, y'all ass already was, already looked good. Fire. Fire energy, okay? Phoenixes, they are already uh, fire. They die, you know, turn to ashes, and they born again with a new flame. You know what I'm saying? Fire energy is very seductive, very, very um, uh, attractive type of energy already, okay? Um, so you all probably already was, already are attractive or was attractive in the past. And after, you know, dealing with these people or whatnot, y'all then went through a transformation, which represents Phoenix transformation and glued the fuck up some more. And now people is like, oh my fucking God, I gotta have, I gotta, I gotta have him back. I gotta have her back. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get back to it. Like, come on now. Come on. What we say? Yo, yo shit will change a motherfucker's life. <laughs> y'all should have changed a motherfucker's life. Even with Phoenix here, uh, definitely y'all have changed some other people. Oh, I found you. I found the motherfucker. I see him. <sighs> He's too high. I can't do shit about that now. Just go. Just go. Okay? Please. Get the fuck on out here. Anyways, one card of spirit. I I'm going to be talking to y'all, but keeping my eye on this fighter. Because, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, one card, Spirit. What makes uh why uh, why are people craving my pal twos? Group two. There it is right there. What is this? Wow, y'all may want to go back and look at the group one. There is really no type of really connection from this group to group one, but y'all may want to go back and look at it because we mentioned uh Taurus. This card from this deck. 
Oh wow. Oh yeah. That what did I tell y'all? That Capricorn energy at the top of the deck, Saturn. Definitely. Y'all, y'all have control over y'all. Over y'all, over y'all, over y'all life. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are in control. And because of that, this is making people desire you. The way that you are, the way that you the, the, the control that you have over your own life and over things in your um being. I'm getting that the people that you messed around with or the people that, you know, you've been with in the past, they have some very freaky, dirty minds. So they see, you know, that control that you have over your life and over, you know, like a business or whatever it is that you own or whatnot. They see that and they uh, instantly kind of start imagining like, what else can you control? Like, what other on the time controller? Anyways, we got Taurus here, okay? This is Venetian energy. This is the second goddamn uh, Zodiac um, and the Zodiac sign out. It came back out. Higher fitness, Taurian energy, and then we got Taurus here again. Some of y'all may be Tauruses, or you may have been with some Tauruses, right? Um, This could be a cancer Taurus relationship or, you know, situationship or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Okay, where you think you're going? I'm talking to the spider, my bad. Um, but yeah, with Taurus being here, definitely y'all are some touchy filly people. A lot of people definitely crave you because of the touch, because of how your body felt on theirs, right? They just love that shit. I keep getting these very just, just uh, like heat waves in my sacral oh uh, not sacral solar plexus chakra it may be sacral too oh hell no that motherfucker just jumped give me a minute let me let me pause okay he's still up there oh um, but he he all right he all right he looks all right right here mm. yeah but that's really what i'm getting for you all okay uh i hope you all enjoyed this as much as i enjoy reading it for you okay love like peace power and abundance i say i'm in and period What's up, my final group? Goddamn, you're supposed to get this out the way, then. And if you all chose this necklace, I mean, this bracelet, damn. Uh, if you all chose this bracelet, then this is you all's reading, okay? Now, I'm a little tweaking. I'm, I've been tweaking out a little bit because it's this jumping spider that's up here and by this window. I just don't want this motherfucker to jump on me. And then all hell broke, breaks loose on this damn video. I need three videos. I mean, three car spirit. Um, three cards, please. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. Why do people crave my group threes? What the hell is it about y'all? Okay, what the hell do y'all got going on? Okay, so first card here. Wow, we got the Wheel of Fortune. It's a very interesting Wheel of Fortune card, huh? Very interesting Wheel of Fortune. Anything can happen, right? Anything can fucking happen. I thought these damn garbage people already came down this alley. What are y'all doing? I'm going to have to pause real quick. Right. Okay. So we're back now. Um, let's see. Whoa. What else, Spirit? Let's get two more cards from this deck. Um, next card is going to be the underlying energy, though. Okay. Let's see. what. Why do people create my uh, group threes? Okay. Yes. We have temperance here, okay? We have temperance. Come on now, get it together. We have temperance here. Okay, that's the underlying energy of why people crave you. Let's see, what is the driving energy? What drives people to want to crave you? <laughs> wow, this is interesting. We have the magician here. We have the magician. Okay. Interesting. Before we talk about anything, let's go ahead and get some more cards. Let's get the rest of these cards, okay? <clears throat> go ahead and get the rest of these cards. Spirit, um, two cards from this deck. Why do people crave my, um, okay, this card. We got death, okay? We have death. Look at how fucking um, amazing this card looks. God dang. We have death here. Okay. 
Um, one more card, Spirit. What makes people crave my group threes? Why are people craving my group threes? Okay, there it is. <laughs> we have the devil. Oh, y'all are some little demons. Oh, y'all are some little demons. Y'all are some little demons. Uh, okay. Hmm, let's just get all of the cards out. Let's just get all of them out right now. Okay. Let's see. What one card spirit? Hold on. Ooh, air elemental card, witty. Okay, we got the air elemental card, witty, right here. Okay, so y'all definitely clap back city. Y'all know how to talk to people. Y'all, y'all definitely um are smooth talkers. Um, in the Bible, when it says words of honey, yeah, y'all got that shit. Y'all definitely got that in a way, right? Let's see, one card spirit. Um, one card spirit. Why? Actually, yeah, no, nah, okay. Why are people craving my group threes? Why are people craving my group threes? Um, let's see. That's a whole stack right there, Spirit. Oh, no, that's two cards. Okay, we can get that. We can take that, okay? We have, wow, we have water here. And then we have fixed. So you could be a Scorpio. Yeah, that, definitely. Because we got the death card, and that's represented by Scorpio. You definitely could be a Scorpio. Another thing I just noticed is that my group three has got nothing but fucking major arcana. Oh, y'all some demons. Oh, y'all on demon time. Y'all are on demon time. Demon timing, okay? Mmm. Hmm. You lord of nasty fucks. Oh, my God. I love y'all energy. <laughs> okay. Let's um let's try to tap into this here and stay uh, less nasty as possible. Okay, so we got the will of fortune. Okay, we got the will of fortune. Are you call it will of fortune. You got the will of fortune. Okay, definitely. It's kind of giving group one a little bit. It's kind of giving group one a little bit. All these pals is kind of going back to group one, but um. Innocence. There's this innocence, right? Uh, that people crave. Look at this. This light looks like a really demonic, evil type of crave. But you know, y'all, yet again, there's this light. There's this energy about y'all that is so attractive. Um, that makes a lot of people crave y'all. The Wheel of Fortune talks about. Um, the Wheel of Fortune talks about um events happening out of the blue. This is the first card to me where the universe comes in and um, does something um, in your life, right? And, and it could be, it, and it's always going to be for you. Um, however, it could be a high vibrational thing or a low vibrational thing. Or at least, you know, from our perspective, it could be a high vibrational thing or a low vibrational thing. Meaning, um, it can be like the universe coming through and blessing you. Or it could be the universe coming through and um, taking something away from you. You know what I'm saying? But it's all going to be for you. Definitely. What I'm getting here is what people crave about your energy is that you you, you bring something new every single time they see you. Every single time people speak to you, you bring new... Uh, there's this new fresh energy here, right? Um, there's this new fresh energy. They don't know what they're going to get with you. It's like the will of... Uh, well, yeah, it's, I think that's what the show is called. Will of Fortune, ain't it? Will of uh, Fortune. Yeah, the Will of Fortune. Definitely, you don't know what you can get. You could get bankrupt. You could get a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? You can get a new bank account. <laughs> I don't know. But um, definitely, you know what I'm saying? People, they don't know. They don't. You always keep people on the edge of their seat. And it's like binge. It's, what I'm getting is like binge worthy, right? So definitely, you all could be. Like some type of uh, YouTubers or content creators, or y'all probably got social media or something, um, or something where people, uh, where you kind of got like a, a little community or a supporter base going. I don't like to say fan base because fans, I don't like that word really. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, yeah, definitely going on there. That's what we're getting here.
definitely y'all been through some teens as well and it's made y'all even it's made y'all tough it's made y'all tough another thing that makes people crave y'all is the um the energy surrounding y'all um this is kind of a side note but definitely what i'm getting is that you all could have gods or goddesses of destruction protecting y'all right protecting y'all because y'all are a light because y'all are so innocent in a way because y'all are still connected to y'all inner child and y'all have um gods and goddesses of destruction um that is protecting y'all for instance like the the goddess segment right or the goddess uh kali you know what i'm saying you could have these type of energies protecting you and working with you um to help you one get rid of energy in your life destroy energy in your life and also um to help you transform right or be reborn is kind of what i'm getting here especially with the death card being here right definitely um we have the temperance here as the underlying energy okay so the main um this is the overall reason why people are um fucking craving y'all the underlying reason, right? The reason why they are craving y'all and the reason why the will of fortune is the um, overall reason why they are craving y'all is because of this temperance. Y'all definitely, the temperance come after the death card. Y'all have been through some shit. Y'all transformed and y'all have become someone. And that's funny because the devil card comes right after temperance. Y'all are some demons. Hold on, I just got a message. Because y'all went through some things, right? Because y'all have went through some things, um, y'all have to y'all had to um let the old man or old woman die, right? Y'all have been some through some things that definitely transformed and changed y'all, right? And now y'all emerged victorious and emerged a new person and a more powerful person at that, someone that will is unshakable. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> someone whose will is absolute. I love that. I love that. I love that. I, I got that off of that anime off of, I believe it's Netflix. It's called Kill La, Kill La Kill, right? I don't really think that's an anime that's more so like a cartoon. But anyways, um, Kill La Kill, right? That show is pretty funny. I got to finish it. But um. Yes, and um, this driving energy, the energy that's driving these people to... Um, no, nah, hold on. Before I get to that, um, this is the reason why, you know what I'm saying? People, uh, the deeper reason why people are craving y'all is because of the energy that y'all give off. Y'all give off this energy of the baddest motherfucker out alive, right? Y'all give off this energy of uh, someone who definitely is ready for whatever there is to come. Right, and y'all have this new found energy, new found power that's that um y'all just discovered, and a lot of people can sense and feel that there's something that you've um just unlocked or something. It, it, they can see the transformation, they can tell that you're moving in a different type of way. This is making people crave y'all because they um it's kind of like a glow up in a sense, you know what I'm saying? And then you have the devil card coming out, mm, baby, baby. Let me tell you, let me tell you the message that I got, okay? Because this is the order that these cards go in in a uh, major arcana. It's the death card, then it's temperance, then it's the devil. After you find your newfound power, usually the devil card, the devil card comes afterwards because, you know what I'm saying, it's to see, this is like a test in a way, right? To see um, what you'll do with this newfound power. You know what I'm saying? With new, with new levels come new devils, right? However, how fucking ever, what I'm getting here is that y'all are some little demons, okay? Reason being is because y'all didn't die. This is just like I said in another, uh, in a different reading, in a different video. Y'all didn't die or y'all didn't transform so many times that y'all are no longer this motherfucker down here that's hopeless and that's always um, uh, being victimized. Y'all are now the person. Y'all are now death themselves that brings transformation and um simply because you all have found um you all's own power y'all know who y'all are y'all standing in y'all truth y'all living y'all life y'all the sun is actually starting to try to come out that's 
Very interesting. And the clouds outside is looking kind of like these clouds in the background uh, in this card. But like I was saying, y'all know who y'all are. Y'all have unshakable will. Y'all can't be shake. Uh, y'all ain't nobody shaking shit with y'all. Y'all will is absolute. It is unshakable. And because of that, <sighs> you, y'all, y'all are on demon time now. <laughs> y'all have the power. Now, I don't want y'all to go and start trying to do no type of fuckery. Okay? The... I mean, I mean, but it's what's being given. It's what spirit is telling us, right? Because you even have the magician here, right here, as the um, energy of, you know, the energy that's driving people, right, to crave you. Some of y'all literally may be doing spell work, right? Um, and y'all probably don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably saying affirmations to yourself in the mirror about yourself, all those sorts of things, Right, you know what I'm saying, and saying affirmations regarding like um, you know, you and how your uh your experience in this uh lifetime on Earth is gonna be, and it may be around the lines of like you know I'm a beautiful goddess and I attract everything and everyone that I desire um and all those sorts of things, or I'm a or I am a uh, gorgeous, handsome God, right? That has everything that he needs and ever desires, right? Um, and all those sorts of things. And without you, and you not even knowing that your ass is doing spell work. Um, I don't know if anybody really knows this, but English is um, English. That's a spell. Like us speaking English. This is like, um, what is it called? A spell type of language? I forgot what it is. I forgot how they said it. But basically, English, when you, English, when you write it out, when you talk English, it's like, it's like, um, it's kind of a, if you know, you know. Basically, English is like one of those languages where it's like spell work, which is why words, you know, a lot of people say words have power to them because they do, especially the English language. Right now, if you find if you all find your own tongues and speak um your own tongue, you know your native tongue from you know it, it, we're getting too deep, but um really that for another fucking day. Um, anyways though, y'all are becoming a y'all are becoming a demon. <laughs> uh, simply put, y'all, and it's not in a bad way. Y'all are gaining control over everything in your life. Um, y'all have control over things in your life now. And, um, another reason, uh, the main reason why people are craving y'all is because they want, they want, they literally want to serve you. And I'm getting definitely in bed, right? They want to please you. That's what I'm getting. People want to please you. Y'all got people wrapped, y'all are having people wrapped around y'all hand, wrapped around y'all finger, it's a, it's that. If y'all do not feel or resonate with this energy, this one is not for you because this is what I'm picking up strongly and I'm not and I'm not swaying from this story, goddammit, because this energy is coming through strong as hell. I mean, come on now, fixed. This energy is fixed. It's fixed and it's like fixed water, right? Y'all been fixed y'all emotions and y'all mind. Y'all done fixed your heart and y'all mind. Um... To be this boss badass motherfucking person. Heart and mind, okay? We might as well say heart, uh, heart and mind here, right? Um, even though they're two males, whatever. Um, heart and mind. You didn't fix it. You didn't fix it to um and then program reprogram them both to uh say I am a god. I am a goddess. You know what I'm saying? I am a deity. I am. I am. You got this I am energy uh, with the magician card. Look at this shit. Number one. This is way deeper than the other two rounds. I can't even lie to you. And I feel like this is why this uh, bracelet is for this group as well. Because y'all have so much fucking power. And then with this devil card energy, definitely, um, I would say, 
be careful with um with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, that's what I'm gonna say. Yet again, witty. Come on now, witty with magician and the devil card, bro. <laughs> Sis, people is craving y'all simply because y'all have manifested it. Y'all have done some some type of spell work, right? And it's not, and it don't, and it probably, and it's what I'm getting is that it's not direct spell work on these people. It's it's work that y'all done on yourself that's making y'all shine, that's making y'all glow, that's making y'all. I see a woodpecker. Hell no, nah. y'all may want to look up that spirit animal. In group two, I seen a spider, and I told him to look up that spirit animal. I see a woodpecker. Yeah, it just flew from over there to right here now, getting closer and shit. Yeah, y'all may want to look up that spirit animal, goddammit. Mm-hmm, yes. But this, ugh, this is all that I'm really getting. Y'all's wasn't really as sexual as I thought it was going to be. Especially, I mean, it's never going to be what you think it's going to be when you have all nothing but fucking major arcana cards. Come on now. I can't, I really sit, simply really can't really pick up too much sexual things other than like y'all are a demon in the bed <laughs> and that y'all are a demon when it comes down to attraction, when it comes down to attraction, energy work and manifestation. Ugh, I, I don't, y'all have some serious powers, some serious gifts. This power three definitely took a different route. Um... Yeah, people crave y'all because of the magic that is within y'all. People crave y'all because of how strong that y'all will is. It's absolute. I don't know what else to fucking say about that. We have sirens in the background as well. I mean, hello, that's like a that's like a bell to me. Ding dong. Okay, you on point. That ass is on point. Oh my god. What did we say? Mind and heart. Water. And then we got air. Mind and heart. Okay, thoughts and emotions is on one accord. Y'all are a power fucking house. That's exactly who y'all are. This is why y'all are on demon time, right? This is why y'all have become uh, death himself or herself. Shit. Mm. And yet again, we have this deity energy here, right? With the moon in the background and then this ring, right? And then like we said, we got deities that's protecting y'all. Y'all are some powerful motherfuckers. And then also there's some evil people that got their eye on you as well. We might as well say it. I mean, we picking it up. We've been picked it up. I've been picked it up. I might as well say it. Some evil people, the sun has shown itself. Y'all, I don't know if y'all can see it over there, but the sun just sh showed itself. Anyways, y'all have some evil people, right? Oh, yeah, we're going to illuminate this shit. The truth will be known. That's what the sun is saying. I just channeled that shit. The truth will be known. Y'all are so powerful, but y'all are so... Uh, not but y'all are so powerful, however, y'all are still young in y'all gifts and powers. Some advice is to start focusing on it. Like this apple right here. You see how she's meditating and holding the apple? Focus on your gifts. Um... Because there are some evil energies, like evil people, or even spirits or energies or whatnot, or maybe even the elite, right? That is after you all's gifts, okay? But they they can't really get to y'all because y'all are protected by these. And this is probably why y'all didn't went through so much shit. Why y'all probably had to die so many times um, during this lifetime. Not literally, but I'm saying like egoically why you had to why your ego had to die so many fucking times is because of these um energies trying to come and steal what's yours right i'm even hearing family members you know what i'm saying that knows the gifts that you have that's trying to um steal your gift from you wow this took a whole different turn uh the reason why people are craving y'all is because of the magic that is within y'all I mean, come on now, how much the Temperance and the Magician card is the two magic cards to me in the Major Arcana. This Magician card literally says it, Magician. And Temperance, this is alchemy, right? 
this is like literal alchemy, but alchemy from within. Magician is alchemy with things and materials and resources and energy outside of yourself. Um, however, you have the knowledge and the know and the know how to actually, um, you know what I'm saying, make magic. However, temperance. This is tapping into the magic from within, tapping into the magic that was already in your ass. That's very interesting. Okay, I'm going to leave it off here. <sighs> Y'all energy was deep as hell, okay? It took a completely different turn. I mean, there was, I was channeling some sexual energies at first, um, well, at least trying to, but the message definitely came through differently. This is why I love doing this, right? I love doing this shit because people, you know what I'm saying? People don't know how serious channeling is. People don't know how serious this work is. You know what I'm saying? These messages that come through, they are literally coming through. It's not me talking. These messages is coming from the energies from the higher realms. And whatever it is that you need to know, y'all needed to know this. Because I had like a sexual intent with this damn video. Y'all needed to hear this fucking message. Because if it came out like this, in a, 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 a fucking sexual theme type of reading, I don't know what other type of, um, I don't know what else, what more of a, um, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to, what I'm trying to say here. Look, we finna end this reading. Love, like, peace, power, and butter to y'all, okay? I say amen and period. Deuces.